welcome to another My Little Podcast. We are your hosts. I am Bree. I'm here with my brother Bryson. Hello. My father Gary. Hi. And my mother Shelly. Hi. Today we have a really fun chunk of comments uh, that came in from our weekly peak episode that came out on Friday. Uh, we featured all kinds of fun stuff this week. And the one this week was in the thumbnail. The bottom of the building looks like the bottom of a jaw for of a of a like a oh, dinosaur oh jaw really teeth. <laughs> yeah i saw a lot of the rocks were teeth. Yeah. Yeah, oh, the rocks are teeth. i love it which was a fabulous observation we should have dressed it up as halloween uh <laughs> with the... wait get a big tongue like a red blanket red hanging blanket out. Hanging out of it. Mm-hmm. We should i like really it sent the whole and stuck some pumpkins on there dinosaur thing yeah carved out pumpkins mm-hmm. on the top mm-hmm you well, I guess we have to wait till next year. the teeth of it. You know? <laughs> Paint one tooth <Lost>. black. <laughs> <laughs> I love We're not going to finish it. the building because we have to wait till next year so we can dress it up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For ah, sure. Just joking. <laughs> and then Garen and Ellie, they um, they did some piping stuff, which was super exciting. I see. Potential oh, he, danger. He, <laughs> God, I'm going to fail that. Now, <laughs> if you're just listening, uh, Chip came up and his tail is curly. And, and one, of the, his, one of our cords we've got going in here got looped into his tail <laughs> fortunately it didn't pull everything it over it didn't pull so. everything off okay so along those same lines of the uh, rocks apparently here <laughs> those large rocks really do give the wall a bolder look <laughs> <laughs> and i had i didn't realize that the pun was a pun i didn't i didn't know yeah. so thank you for pointing that out <laughs> um, and then um let's see Sean Sisler said, so did Bree inherit her, the puns or did Bree's puns rub off on mom? And the answer is I inherited the punning. Mom is a fabulous punner. Really? Oh, I don't know she, about that. She is. A lot of the t-shirt designs are definitely her her idea um, or at least yeah. stems from her idea. So, And she'll wake up, she goes, I got a great idea. <laughs> great. And then, you know, then we have rock solid that exists today. So a lot of other ones too, though. Yeah, I would say that um, that you definitely are the pun queen you come up with the best puns there's no question hands down i don't know know about that i don't know Mm -hmm. okay so (laughs) at the end of the show we wanted to sneak shay in there because she did mostly editing this week yeah we had it was kind of interesting because shay called me um like wednesday and she was all ready. She's going to bring her she brings a section of video you know and and she calls me like you know and then she's like mom I'm sorry, I got nothing. <laughs> and I said, well, that's okay. Head out here. We could use you to, if you want to help us edit, we could really use the help. And uh, she hightailed it out here and, and uh, did a lot of the editing. A lot. For the, yeah, so that was, that was nice. We were done early for once. Yeah, yeah she's and good then at that. We she's have really up, upstairs now, because we, we're going to be using a lot of bottles here coming up. And so we're delabeling like mad people. You guys are really, and you've got this that bucket going on in there. And Which we thought, oh, Sh- Shay didn't make it into the video, so we were oh. trying to sneak her oh. into that scene, oh. into a scene yeah. somewhere along the line. Yeah. So we had her delabeling bottles. L. Whitman said, uh, "What in the world did you use to get those kombucha bottles labels off? I have no luck. Please and thank you." Oh, okay. Yes, we have tried we numerous things to take those labels off. And we have found that the best way to do it is I take um, like a, a steak knife and I s- just do one slice along the label. And then we put, um, we were soaking it in boiling water. And you just soak it in there for a little bit. And then you can peel them off. Sometimes they'll come in one one peel if you go nice and slow. Um, other than that, if you get one peel, then put it back in, come back in about 10 minutes, and you can just rub them off real easily with your hands. Yeah. Uh, we've tried uh, <clears throat> chemicals and, yep, you can actually, and and hot water is the best yeah, way to get those it's off. The easiest, it's the easiest method we've, we tried. We tried um, we've tried acid, putting them in like an acid bath to see if it would melt the label off. It didn't do anything, and then we tried. Um, the acid was We tried strong vinegar, enough, which that also didn't do anything. And what else did we try? We tried some other stuff too. I've tried just we soaking tried just them for days and days and days in water. That's what I did last year, and it didn't even the the labels are plastic, have a plastic yeah. film on them, and no, that didn't even that just doesn't work. No, it just it made no. it harder you, to um, get the labels off. You actually can do it cold. Um, we've done that in the past too. If it's a fresh new bottle. 
um, and it hasn't gotten wet at all yet, you can actually do that same method where you take a knife and you splice, you know, you put a mark down the line of the label, or you, you know, you cut the label, and then you can actually get under it, and you actually can peel it dry too, clean. Yeah, dry. You um, can actually, yeah, that's another way you can do little, it. It's a little bit harder and takes a little bit more time, I think, than the boiling water. Yeah, and it yeah. takes your your nails just get yeah, <laughs> they it, get it's wrecked tough. in there trying to. It, it, it's tough. The, those kombucha bottles are like um, they're so thick. They're some of the best bottles, and I'm, I'm excited. Matter of fact, today is a day that we're going to go out and start putting bottles on those walls, and I'm very excited to try them because they are so thick. I think they're going to make a wonderful building material. Mm -hmm. It's going to be super cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, As long as we can get all the labels off. Have, <laughs> you, tried, have you tried freezing? No. no we Put the bottle it. in the freezer? Do you, are you like picturing I don't know what Dad, that would like do, though. you pull it out and it's frozen and then like in those cartoons you just think and it goes <laughs> off the side. Is that what you're imagining? Well, that's a nice cartoon <laughs> version, <laughs> but no, I was thinking of uh, maybe uh, you've tried heat, I'm, so I wonder if cold would work. Bad idea. I mean, it might it's help. It's an idea. Of all the ideas I've had, that was one of them. The, yeah. <laughs> the, we haven't tried. There was another solution I wanted to try, which is bleach, <clears throat> um, which is going on the whole other side of the pH scale, um, all the way to alkaline. And that, I was thinking, might also, you could maybe bleach the bottles. I think uh, another thing, if we had I a little know. bit... If we had a little bit more time and it was the sun, we, I mean, it, and it was summer, we could set them out in the sun because plastic break down, breaks down really fast yeah. in the yeah. sun. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is that those labels are plastic and, and paper. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. you'll have a plastic label or a paper label. So mm -hmm. we've, you know what? Yeah, so, but I mean, we glue, could yeah. try a torch. <laughs> yeah. Burn it. As long as we but don't then leave. it would burn the glass, too. Not the, uh, that might be a problem. That might be a problem, yeah. <sighs> We actually have been delabeling for a couple months. <laughs> I know. <yeah. laughs> because, um, you know. There was come a time where. Not to put a label on it. <laughs> there, there came a time where I tried to keep up. Otherwise, that that's through. what this week's video would have been. Just delabeling. De <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, this week. I know. There was a time when it was just uh, me and Bree here. She would. Someone. Bree and I would Shay drink them. Other people set them on the side, them. and Bryson, who so didn't drink them, would come through and delabel them. I felt I so bad. I delabeled so many. I delabeled boxes <laughs> of them, and I did them the old-fashioned way without boiling water. I actually yeah. cut it and peeled it by yeah. hand. And then I, I felt bad, so I joined you. But ooh, that was not fun to delabel no. those I, things. I found like once that. you get the labels <laughs> off, you can actually flip them around yeah. and and tape them and put them on your hand. And they're with sticky side out, and then you can go and clean up your couches, That's get all the dog doing. hair off of yeah, it, so like and all we the were, you know, all the stuff. It worked really well. Yeah, yeah we worked really well for for Very cleaning. Efficient. We get the, the house clean, or the couch cleaned at the same time. Mm. So yeah. So now Kevin Finkel said, if the bottles mm. get buried in the wall with the only with only the ends visible, why bother taking off the bo the labels? Uh, Kevin, you are exactly right. Everything that we go that we're only using the ends, we don't delabel those, and we'll we'll tape those together in the middle. These bottles, however, if you remember from the kitchen build, we had um, we had three long ways this way. So, and that was the the flowers was those long ways, three of them together. That's what we're doing this time, and that's why we have to delabel. Different direction this yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be the label side is actually going to be the face of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they need to be. They'll be three thick. Yeah. Right, and they'll and and yes. How are you going to prevent them from being see through? I was going to ask you on that. Well, there's areas where it doesn't matter that they're see through, and there's areas where it does. So um, mm -hmm. the areas where it does, where it's going around the tub area and the shower area. Well, the the shower area will be blue anyway. There'll be no clear in there. And oh, okay. we're pretty excited because uh, Bree and I went to the store last week and we brought bought like eight or ten different colors of blue. We did. So, so we many. can get this. the The waterfall will have several. You know, like it's, you know, the sun's hitting it and you've got, you know, shadows and this kind of thing. And the other side now, what we're going to do, because that is a clear wave of bottles when we get to the places where it can be clear, we're going to spray the center bottle with something, um, some color. Spray foam? No, no, it'll actually be paint. Oh. Just the middle bottle, though. And I'm, I'm not sure really what color that's going to be, but we will, I think it'll be all the same color. We'll have to figure that out today because we're doing that today. Could it be white to match the bags? Oh, I guess we're gonna we're gonna cover up <laughs> the bags. Will Never mind. Be white. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Maybe a. a, a if we were doing, you know, that's interesting because that goes back to the delabeling.
possible, right? You could just do well, that that might be interesting the outside if you have, of it. If you have three, uh, well, the you outside could color that middle one. The and not color the out two outside um, ones, and then kind of get a a see through to the color as opposed to I don't know maybe. We yeah, I was gonna just have a, a color so it reflected out, but we do uh, you know if we just did the unlabeled ones right down the center. We don't want it ever to be clear. Right? No. Um, no. <clears throat> and I would think that anything on the outside of a bottle is exposed to the elements, and that will it'll deteriorate. Be, it'll and fall be inside apart. a wall, though, so it may not deteriorate very fast. Yeah. Maybe 100 years. It's plastic. Yeah, when sunlight plastic hits it, those bottles are turning anything. into an oven. I know. Yeah, but if we can't, you know, we use, you know, acid to burn it off, I doubt if it's going to fall off real quickly <laughs> i think so. we'll stick with the paint i think the paint would be depending on what color we go it would be prettier to kind of be reflecting out anyway i think it'll be a nicer look so yeah i think we'll probably go that way mm -hmm, mm -hmm, something like sure. that okay so uh, amanda Seto said i love how the tub is coming along did you plant all the trees around your place or uh, were they always there and what type of tree we, is it we planted all of them even the one in the middle of our kitchen <laughs> No, not really. Mm. It was funny. We didn't plan yeah, any of them that I know of. Yeah, yeah. This was kind of an interesting story because we originally, um, over in the hoop barn area, was where the original house was when we moved here. That we um, that was pretty decrepit, but and we had finished taking that down, and that's where the hoop barn sits today. That actually was where the main house was. Um, all the septics and the electricity everything and all was there. everything was set up there. Yeah. And we originally were going to build a house in that area. And then when we started, we actually put the septic tank in there mm -hmm. for a, a four-bedroom house. Yeah, and you ran through several plans of what yeah. kind of house you wanted. We went from log to and just sets over there, like the, sty <laughs> the styrofoam <laughs> house. That's okay. We might use lots the, of different uh, things. And then the one day again. we started to kind of catch wind of these earth bag things, and we're starting to think that wow, this this sounds like something that would really work for us in our in our climate in our area it just made it started to make a lot of sense mm -hmm. and as we were looking around you know trying to you know looking in the area and we looked over on where the little guest house was where there's all these trees behind the little guest house and we're going why are we building here we should be building over there where all those trees are mm -hmm. and then that's when we 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 started right. setting up shop we had like we had put the septic in but nothing else really over there so I think the original plan was for that little outbuilding. It was only 750, 750 square feet, one bedroom. And uh, we decided to, uh, you know, originally that was going to be the studio, uh, I think, right? <clears throat> yeah, I think I... Oh, the guest house? The, what yeah. was What yeah. was the guest house was going to become the studio, and it, then it became the main house. Yeah. And we just started adding on to it. And that became our kitchen and everything yeah. else that you Adding see today. Adding all these little bedrooms, and then the studio itself is built now. And, and then we yeah. decided on the circle and putting in the bedrooms. And, and, yeah. and where the hoop barn is is where the new shop's going to go. Yes. So. Which, by the way, I think we will. Yeah, I think we will put in a... Uh, <laughs> and power. Are we going to put like a, to like a bathroom in there somewhere? Oh, yeah, a bathroom. I thought, why don't we just throw a bathroom and a shower and, and a big routine. old sink. I big think old sink in there really for cleaning stuff. I mean, like like similar to the sink we have in the kitchen, something big yeah. we can wash things in. Yeah, I may have a an actually wash station in yeah. there. I think That'll outside in the shop and area, not in the bathroom. I think having a shower is a really great idea too, because I know sometimes it's a really greasy and grimy process to do some of the car work, and <clears> it gets tracked all over the place. So it'd be nice just to contain it all in the workshop. And having another That's shower not is not a bad idea, with yeah, as many people are always around yeah. here. But like, well, if you want a shower, go to the workshop. <laughs> <laughs> hey man whatever works hey you know what we should just throw a bedroom in there too so someone could just sleep there'll be room there's a loft the area that could be built up there for a bedroom so because it'll have a high ceiling oh we, we could potentially could put a bedroom up there a couple so. lofts yeah ah. you can wake <laughs> oh, up good. grind you know cut wood build your little project whatever it is and mm -hmm. then sleep and then wake up and go right back to it mm -hmm. kitchen you just need a kitchen now too yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can, i just throw a microwave in there they have to always have the little mini fridge so that's a big mini yeah, fridge in fridge. a microwave little mini kitchen. Little mini kitchen. yeah we I should put it. a mini fridge in there with a little coffee <laughs> maker you can have your coffee coffee maker and mini fridge mm -hmm. i like it who's Although moving into this i already <laughs> have my first i already have my first project in my head i want to use a, a maple what's called flamed maple yeah top on a base five string and uh, I'm probably going to use an ash 
uh, body to that that I put that I lamb the maple onto. That way, I get to, you know, it's usually a lighter color. Uh, the maple, mm. the flame maple is lighter colored, and with the ash, it'll kind of blend in behind it. And then I'll have a Bengay. You're, you're talking about other, a guitar, Wenge. right? Yeah, okay. guitar. Wenge, it's a bass. And uh, Wenge, and then I'll have, uh, as far as my neck, it'll probably be rosewood. I think I'll go with a rosewood. Um, fingerboard for it, so I've been oh, planning it cool. in my head. Right, I like it, and I'm going. Okay, now electronics is next. Cut all on a CNC mill. I feel like electronics are no, pretty. I'm pretty gonna do it all by hand. Answer, I'm gonna do it with a spoon. Oh, <laughs> carve it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I saw a spoon once, uh, and it and it had this forked edge on it. Yes, sports. for like cutting. No, no, it was on the side of the spoon. Oh, so it wasn't like it wasn't like a spork. It mm -hmm. was a. a on the side a spoon of it. So with what a would knife you cut? Yeah, it? and you could a spoon, cut. a knife, that seems and tines. Unsafe. <laughs> then you could then have you scoop up into your mouth. In your mouth, you do just Owie. slice the side of it. As <laughs> well, you I mean, out. you'd have to eat it from the side, so you're oh, just pulling out, so oh, you're not saw blading it. And you know, if you had little spork things on it, then you could have a spork and knife and spoon all. Oh, what would that one. be called? Not a spork. It'd be called a. A, 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 a knife, knife spork, smork, knife. Spork. You know what they need to make? Just an ultrasonic. A spoon that's just dull, and so you can still cut stuff with it, you know. But, but then it's do, dull, and you can, you can still cut eat it. Stuff with a dull spoon because they're all dull. A norf. <laughs> knife. No, not if it's an ultrasonic knife. spoon. Then it vibrates Sh and it can just snip oh. through things. Snorf. Oh, okay. You can cut a snork. steak with it, and then snork. it stops vibrating. Snork. Snork. A snorf. I think we're still trying to figure out what the name of this thing is. A spy fork. A spike fork. A spike fork. Spy fork. fork. A spunk. A spunk. A spunk. <laughs> 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 oh, guys are funny names. Anyway, <laughs> where were we? All right. Okay, so uh, Janice Osborne said, this is the first time I've ever seen or heard of a house or construction using bags of earth. I'm from the East Coast. I'm curious to know, what is the shelf life of the bags? Will they break down after so many years and crumble away? They will if you put them out in the sun. Well, now that's the deal. It's plastic, and uh, plastic does break down in the sun. But if you uh, cover your plastic, then it'll last as long as plastic does in a uh, land soil. Land forever, forever, so, yeah. almost yeah. nearly forever. Okay. So I don't know what the breakdown is. Uh, we could probably carbon date it, but it be a million years maybe i don't know it's, just, it's a uh, long time but in the sun yeah. especially in our hot sun out here in the desert it will break down in a summer easy yeah. all the stuff we have purchased all the all the um, bags we've purchased are all coated with uh, um uv uv so they're all uv coated so it gives us time Which enough helps. to get it yeah well it gives us time enough to build it and get it in the air before it even starts to break down so it's one of the reasons that we always cover our bags when yeah. we're not using and them throughout also, the sun. Uh, the one when we started building the um, the studio, we had left it out in the sun, and it, we, it started to break down yeah, on the edges, on the and we top. lost a lot of bag. Yeah, that, that and also, good. also we learned too. We had that on a roller at one point in time. We put the whole roll on a roll to unroll it, and it was scraping against the side of the of like what we of our roller system, and that ended up scraping it too. And those sides, if they get cut up, they cut up the bag. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the whole bag. To, it is a continuous yeah. bag, and if you want the poly weave to be woven, you have to keep it from uh, from being damaged. And from one is sun, unwoven. and one is and one is uh, friction of some sort. So. Yeah, and you can yeah. also look into if you haven't already too is the hyper adobe, uh, adobe yeah. which is similar to um, like when you buy a bag of onions. You know, it's just it's more way more porous, holy basically, and they mm -hmm. they're using those too. I think those would work well out here too. I'd mm -hmm. like to try those at some point. Yeah, yeah just to do it. See, yeah, it's not a flat material. It's a more of a string material. More of a I would love plastic to, uh, string material that's woven together. I would love to build a rig that makes it a little bit easier to bag with, um, but I mean, like, I don't know how, how we could possibly. Why don't build we have it, a 3D printer? You haven't invented a 3D printer to roll, do this with. You know, something that can roll, and we can just take the skid steer and dump a load into it, and then just roll it out. And then just have mm. a tamper. Wasn't it? You're superior? right. It would be like a huge 3D printer. It would it's be. It's a roll. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but I, we have to somehow feed the dirt into the roll. So I've seen Why? people. Why you could make it plastic? I've seen people just make a big plastic house. And actually, what and you do? It. I know what you do. I know what you do. <laughs> you like weave the bag as you go. So you have roll of string that you put on it, and it weaves the bag as it 
as it so it can just extrude it infinitely the amount well, how of how do you get the, what material would you put in there for the insulation or the building material would it be dirt well it'd be or? dirt it'd just be dirt you know but what? it weaves the bag as you go doesn't that company there's a company in california that um actually has where they fill the bag superior they use, yeah i don't know if they're still superior. around but they yeah, superior, superior sandbag. sandbag. Yeah, superior they had like sandbag. big machines because they do like they do sandbags uh, the side of the freeways. They bag embankments and yeah. retaining walls, and it just would be kind of interesting to see if you could do something like that. It'd be a bit easier. I thought of maybe taking a hand cart and modifying a hand cart, and we just stuff the bag like a like a sock on the end of it, a big old length of it, and then we could just fill the top of it. With it and just roll the handcart along. It is along. kind of ridiculous that we haven't come up with something. <laughs> yeah, hey, and then listen. it could, here's the thing. It could lay the barb as you go because I the roll of barb could be on there rolling it into the thing as we roll I'm it. just so excited. We've upgraded but. from a wheelbarrow. I, anything else in <laughs> this time is just, I. Yeah. if we can, more upgrades, I'm all down. But right now, I'm still not over you know the would be, recent upgrade we've had. That is just so cool. Yeah, you know what would be hilarious? <laughs> we RC control the tractor and we RC control the rig that builds the the building and we just sit down and just control it why control it why don't we just program it push a button and walk away and then you know six months later come back to a complete house <laughs> but that's even better no, that's what i like <laughs> all right then yeah then i could be in the shop building guitars instead okay. of out building houses <laughs> exactly. like we build one of those things this and a million different built. buildings just start <laughs> popping up on our property oh did we forget to turn it off <laughs> 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 the same copycat building yeah, over and over like, and over. And it's over in over. weird spots. Like, <laughs> <laughs> neighbor goes, hey, animal pen. There. There's one. Okay, so Carol Peters said, um, okay, since this is an earth bag walls and a shower, will there be a problem if the earth bag gets wet? I know you do some kind of stucco, but I think it was mentioned somewhere that it breaks down in the rain. If it gets wet. It, well, that's before so this, we cob it. Serious yeah. wetness. Yeah, um, it's, it's but, yeah. saturation. Yeah. yeah, if it was Cobb, we would definitely have the problem. As a matter of fact, yeah. we're having that problem right now oh, with uh, Bree's house yeah. because we never stuck It breaks down, house. but it's not near saturated like that, though. It's yeah, not, it yeah. won't break down, though, in this case because we will have it stuccoed, yeah. and it will um, we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, because the, the Cobb, it, it's mud on the wall. Basically, <laughs> yeah. Know? And Play mud. And dissolves in water pretty yeah. easily so it just kind of washes off the building there are a lot of cob houses that are just built like that there's no that's true you know Adobe. there's nothing yeah and I they, how they, they have it. just big roofs that uh well they'll seal it with some uh, organic paints and stuff organic paints and stuff they use mm. so um, but that's you know we typically don't do that here in this area we, we typically have used latex to to sh to shun off any waters um and I do. Helps. We are going to paint this too. I think. Pro I, I think we probably are going to yeah. paint. Otherwise, it's going to yeah. be gray, and I don't know if we want gray. We don't. I'm, I'm we could we're dye not really, the. Uh, we're not we really dull the, gray people. We no. like. We like a little color. Could, yeah, I don't. <laughs> we yeah. could stain the the, uh, the the clay or not the clay. Well, since the it doesn't have a roof, painting it would cob, be better. I think because we can keep. Stuff. I do big eaves now. You know that help shed the water away from the buildings. So um, the only water that gets there is whatever blows onto it, and then that's usually shed off, uh, sheds off with the latex paints that we Not put on the outside. Issue. And we could actually, if you want to, we could the top layer we could do with a different material if you wanted, mm -hmm. if you feel better about that. They even make, you know, you could even make little hat roofs that go around there that have a six-inch <laughs> eave, you know, it sets all the way around. You know, there, I, so. I kind of think of, uh, uh, testing <laughs> it, though, with just the with, with just our stucco and the paint to see how, how it fares might be kind of nice. Yeah, I'm though. pretty Maybe confident it'll be fine. Maybe it's something we can put in fine. later if there's a problem. Yeah. Well, we're, this is a test anyway. We put rock in the middle What's of it and lots and of bottles. And we're going to be doing bottles. Yeah. So it is a test. And so far it's very strong, so we're good with that. Nice foundation, so it's working well. Yeah, it yeah. would be interesting to stain the stucco. Like the um, in the concrete. studio, we stain the walls. If you remember, uh, right? Mm -hmm. Interesting. He means stain in the stucco mix before oh, you spray. Oh yes, we could do that. Yeah. yeah. Before it's we probably, put it on. Yeah, probably use more stain that way though, since it's permeating the entire thing rather than unless, the exterior of it. Mm -hmm. Unless you used a different kind, so instead of buying stain, you get a different material that goes in the stucco. You know, that let's be real, it, though. changes the color. How, we, <laughs> we will have the most difficult time adding stain because we'll never be consistent. You know us. So we'll have to paint at the end. Six different, eight, ten different colors. No, it, would, it would create a really <laughs> cool, like, patchy... <laughs> yeah. 
Look, it might look, it might look kind of cool. It would be patchy, that is for sure. Organic. <laughs> It'd look organic. Well, it doesn't really look like it belongs all in the same spot, but, you know. That's a nice a color of. It's a look. That's we'll a ni- do all that work, and then we'll go, we better paint it. We better paint <laughs> it. Yeah. That's a nice color of what? Patch? Are you guys the going for pack. like a, a camo or what's that? Like? Yeah, a camo. <laughs> okay, That's so That's Lucy probably Young one. said, at the risk of sounding selfish, I wish your show would la- uh, lasted longer. Oh, it lasted an hour. Excuse me. At the risk of sounding selfish, I wish your show la- uh, show lasted an hour. Well, thank you. That was that's very <laughs> kind to say. Very nice. Of you um, to say. I will say we we made a commitment a long time ago to to what we wanted to do with our show, and that was to never waste anybody's time. So yeah. because of that, um, we edit what's there and what's there for the week, and it comes out what it comes out to. I think the most the big longest it's ever come out is maybe twenty five minutes. This mm-hmm. happened to be a little bit uh, less of a show. But if we're going to, we don't want to ever drag things out just to make certain times. Um, yeah. And I don't honestly think we would have really the, abil- uh, the ability without a lot of help to get an hour show. It, that's, it, it's Great. a tremendous amount of time just to get, you know, yeah. 20 minutes or so. I but mean, this particular show that we do for the podcast is, you know, what, 20 minutes to half an hour, right? Mm-hmm. And, uh, but that's easy because it's all unedited, you know, f- virtually unedited talking materials yeah we're just sitting here which is what we do best we love to talk (laughs) yes no no how to here really and my mouth moves up and down that's about as how to as it gets but it uh, but it would be but but if you count up everything we do in a week it is an hour you got this show we got the midweek wednesday we have uh, the the friday show you start taking your shoes off and counting it up and it's about an hour's worth of uh, material Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we do do we do about an hour's worth of material a week Three different shows, different focus, which is helpful. It's variety. That's what we like. Yeah, we we wanted to add new shows to the lineup a while back. Um, But the one thing that we wanted to do was we didn't want to just produce the same show for three times. I feel like we're taking the weekly peak and spreading it out throughout the week. We wanted to do – we wanted to keep the – keep the weekly peak the way it was. We like that. We want to keep that. Um, but Keep we wanted to add more stuff in because I think, uh, for me at least, I, I want to get more stuff going, you know, because I, well, yeah. I just do. Yeah. I, yeah. I, when I get we have plans time, for music and that. animation so, and other types of formats, we still, too. Mm-hmm. We still have the video tips and that we've yeah, got. And, then, mm-hmm. and, and what yeah. I want to do, what we were doing is we wanted to make sure any of the new shows that we brought in uh, were were different. They you know, each of them were a little different. So they catered to different people or maybe a different period of time of the week. So we wanted to do like kind of our little radio show on on Mondays, we thought, and then a single subject that's just short for Wednesdays kind of something just a, that wouldn't fit in the weekly peak. Yeah. But we or, wanna you know, we yeah, want a show. Yeah. So something that's just from start to finish, one subject we know um you know, you may not have 20 minutes to sit down, so, but you can do five or whatever, you know. And, and there are people who like just the one subject. I know mm-hmm. sometimes I do. I only want to watch one subject. I don't want to worry about all the other stuff. I want the one thing. Mm-hmm. And that Wednesday show kind of hopefully gives that chance mm-hmm. for that viewer to see just one thing. Yeah. And so. for the Friday show is uh, planned and um, edited uh, to fit. And, you know, it, it gives a, it's a great show for a variety show with, you know, two, three, four topics that go into it it makes for a lot of fun and everybody's loved it so far too so that we enjoy continues but yeah it'd be cool to be able to do more <laughs> yeah, but, but not practical right. like, yeah that's that's a lot to get this out. out on about 20 we yeah. get we get mm-hmm. over 20 minutes and yeah. it's late because yeah. <laughs> we can't it's just too it's much tough. work i retired yeah. from my my real job <laughs> to do this and i'm working harder now than <laughs> i was when i was working before oh, yeah, so for sure, right? but i enjoy so. this this is cool this is fun hey i want to ask too did you notice that we uh, slowed down the intro, the swing um, at a, uh, you know, did, did you, what did you think of that? Did you like that slower intro or? Did you even notice it? Yeah, did you? Did you yeah. even notice it? I yeah. edited that and I did not know she did that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Bree and I did that together. Because, oh. um, yeah. We just yeah. thought you could maybe take it in a little better. It was swinging a little fast. Not the second swing. Because the, the, second, ne- the second swing swings from um, our place to Garen Ellie's, and that has to go faster. It would be, it wouldn't work. I'd be one of those like 
like long transitions that you just kind of want to pull your hair out as you watch. <laughs> like, it's so long. It just keeps going. <laughs> that is amazing. I put that in the show and I did not notice. You didn't know until now? Like, you didn't, yeah. even, didn't even know? know. Oh. I, wa- I watched it. I didn't even know. <laughs> That then that cool. might say it works. <laughs> that might say it works. Yeah. Okay, so I thought we'd close off with a comment here from Sabrina uh, uh, Mainwaring, Mooring, who says, "Yay, stickers in the shop! Could you add? Could you guys add more designs? I know there are some other designs that I want to get. So excited! Designs I hope to get in the sticker form are the London Bridge, uh, Food Brings Family Together, Level Up, Porthole, Fish in a Light Bulb, Hammer Time, and Outhouse. Uh, so thank you, Sabrina. Yes, we do have stickers in the shop. I have been meticulously going through every day and." adding in the new products and taking out some products, just kind of doing a little upkeep on everything. But there's a lot of designs there, so it takes me a little while. And we've, we're actually adding a lot more products than just the, the stickers. I think on the London Bridge, I think I've gone through already on that one, some of the designs, because there's a lot of stuff happening with them, they don't all turn into stickers. I'm, I don't. I think on the London Bridge, we weren't able to make that into one. They just wouldn't let us do it. Uh, but on the other ones, I'll make sure today um, to get in any of these here that you have that I don't already have um, p- put in. So we'll make sure we have those for you. And then hopefully my hope is by the end of November, mid-November, I'll have the entire shop all transferred over to those new products. Um, so we've got all kinds of fun stuff we've been wearing. we get some hats. I, I know the I'm wearing a donkey today yeah. <laughs> with, with this really cool shirt. What's the same material? Uh, this is like, the uh, moisture wicking. Yeah. Moisture wicking. Yeah. I know yeah. there's um, so it puts all my sweat on the outside. <laughs> There's a um, backpack, it's a computer backpack, the red yeah. with the rock solid on it. Looks really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, we, we also did beanies too. We got, I know I'm not wearing mine today, oh, yeah, those beanies but we did a are bunch cool. of beanies um, too. True. But I think that when Spreadshirt added those in, they got they just got sold Slam. out right away. So hopefully those will be coming back to the shop mm-hmm. really soon too because we were really enjoying those. People love beanies, them. Yeah. Man. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, they're not the super heavy duty ones, but they're pretty warm. And I, that's what I like. Yeah. Is I don't want a really super heavy one. I yeah. like a light one. So that And they're cotton, so the decals fit on there nice. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Yes. It's my alarm. <laughs> I mean, not fit on there, but um, they show up nice as opposed to some of the they other materials on there. Yeah. yeah. We still don't have a, a baseball cap of any sort that works. Uh, yeah, they, they offer, just, uh, but it's just kind of a clear sticker, and it's yeah. just disappointing each we, time. We, you know, unless <laughs> so they have stitched and embro- yeah. embroidered, I guess. Is embroidery the word. would be something. They don't have that yet. We'll move so. on to embroidery. Eventually, but yeah. that's probably quite a ways down the road. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can get embroidered hats, but Spreadshirt doesn't offer them. And so, uh, and then the thing is with the embroidered hats, you've got to order a slug of them, and um, you Machine have to, the designs it. aren't. They're not as you have to pick specific threads, and you might only be able to do three colors. And I have a million colors in the design <laughs> on most of them, so it'll be a new yeah. challenge. We intend on on tackling at some. Point, we could but. we could eventually get one of those big like. Um, what are they the embroidery, embroidery machines? Hat machines that have like four or five colors and they like oh, yeah. the industrial ones you throw the hats in and like hey you've there. got room in your bedroom we could put that I in do. there we could pull the piano out you got that big out. bed in there what's that yeah. we'll just take the bed out we'll put it right there <laughs> it ran it did cross my mind <laughs> <laughs> I want to get one of those sticker machines those really big industrial ones that's what I want that make stickers yeah they're like yeah. really cool oh oh I don't know that's, that's, that's you know what here's what we should do we should buy a CNC mill, okay, okay, a CNC table, so okay. we can use it. Yeah. Then we'll switch it out with like an embroidery bit, a rug bit, huh? Oh, okay. huh? And we could do the rugs and the stuff right there on the table. Ooh, Ooh. I like that. Mm-hmm. I like it a lot. Okay, well, I think that <laughs> <laughs> that'll wrap it. Unless there's and anything. And it's a CNC mill. You, we we couldn't any... leave without a new idea. I mean, it's just <laughs> of course. Yes. I um, confession. I like. I looked into getting uh, some starter stuff for stickers and they have what they do is you buy the st- you can buy sticker printers and then you get a specific kind of paper and then you get another type of machine that is kind of like a cnc machine that but it does paper and then cuts it cuts the them out stickers. for you mm. yeah because then otherwise you're in there with an exacto knife Ooh. cutting out oh no no <laughs> and i watched youtube videos of people like and we just take this little exacto knife oh, <laughs> and yeah. i'm like holy cow i Never, and, and they do like the line oh. is beautiful when they do it. I'm like, I, it would be all over oh, the place. Man. <laughs> you but know what? Anyway, it, I'm, we're glad you know the Spreadshirt offers them because that would have been you, a big you know task. <laughs> to replace that sticker cutting machine, mm. we get a laser cutter. 
-hmm. And we just drop the papers in there and it'll just cut around the stickers. Yeah, but they have ones that have stickers. Then, then we get to use, then we get to put woods in there and cut wood plates, cut laser engrave on top of laptops, Mac laptops. They put like engrave fun things on them and stuff. You know, what else I even looked into? There was a sticker making machine that you didn't plug in. It was like a hand thing that you did and you could like draw whatever you wanted and then put it in and make it into a sticker. And the lady's like, okay, I'm going to go through and I'm going to review this. And then when she's doing it, it keeps getting gummed up. The whole thing, she pulls oh, no. out huge rolls of gum. And I'm like, ah, I don't think I'm going to get that. <laughs> what is that, Mike? Cool uh, idea. Yeah, maybe not. It doesn't look like it works very well. That's oh, cool. My goodness. Oh, maybe, maybe in the future they'll have better stuff for that. But Anyway, we really appreciate you hanging out with us, spending time with our family, participating uh, in all everything that we do. I, all of the wonderful suggestions and ideas, all they always make. Uh, our products oh, so and cool. everything a better, a better and then we'd love to hear your feedback too on the intro so uh, we read all the comments and I heart them as they go up so <laughs> it's very anyway, cool thank you so much and we will catch you on Wednesday for a we have a tasty weekly peak in the works Ooh. so we'll see you then very cool. <laughs> bye bye, bye. <laughs>